this lesson on walls is to show you how to get exact lengths of nib walls. Um, in this case, what I've got here is this wall in the kitchen. Now, if I touch that wall, the opposing dynamic dimensions appear. I want to know the length of that wall. So the only wall in the other direction that I have is this wall here. So you can see that the length of that wall is 4308. Let's say I want to make that wall 4500. What I do to do that is basically I use what I call construction lines and I've set up walls as construction lines. Just let me show you, if I, if, if, if I say construction lines, most people just relate that to 2D drafting. Now if I go to my drafting line here and if I draw, I'll put my ortho on, which is F8, if I draw two drafting lines there and go finish, and if I touch one, it does nothing. It's a dumb 2D line. What I've done is I've set up a series of construction line walls. Now, these walls, if I go in and edit one of them, the zero width for starters, because that's the most important, see what I've done? I've called it a zero width construction line. The width of it is zero. If I go to the top and bottom, I've got a user defined height of zero. So in actual fact, there's nothing here to see because it's invisible and it's zero in width. Now if you try and type in there, zero, it won't, it won't allow you. See how it's beeping at me? It will not allow it. The only way, if I change that to one, it'll let me have it. If I go back to zero, it won't allow it to keep going back to one. All right, can't do it. So what you do is you go 0 0.001. Now if I click out of it, it'll do a zero width wall. Now you've got to be careful with zero width walls because if they're invisible, they can uh, give you a bit of grief. But it, I use them as a temporary construction line, and then when I'm finished with it and finishing dimensioning the building, I then go and delete them. I've got them coloured, so they're coloured blue, and I know they're different from the rest. So if I now go and draw a construction line wall there and there, similar to that drafting line, you'll notice it's blue. That's so I know what it is. Now if I touch the wall, I can then go and change the length of it. So what I do is I go and grab my zero width construction line, bring it onto the end of that wall and drag it out, hit finish. Now I can touch that. I can grab the 4308 and make it 4500. All right. Now I will leave that there until we do the dimension exercise, but just temporarily I'll delete that. Now if I touch this wall, you'll notice that it stayed 4500. You can try all you like by using other walls to do the same thing, but I'll guarantee you it is much easier if you set up a zero width construction line and do it with that. I'll just delete those. A couple of other things you can do with uh, construction, the zero width construction line is Basically, let's say I've got a vanity or I've got a fridge wall. I'll just go over a 70 mil wall. Let's say that wall there is going to be 800 long because I'm going to put a fridge in, in here. And over here, I want to just draw two walls, one there and one there, because I might want to put a vanity or something in it. So I want those to be 600 long and I want that to be 800 long. So again, all we have to do is come back up and grab my zero width wall, whack it in from there to just drag it past, and I'll repeat it over here, across to there, finish that off, drag this through. See, I'm not being too precise, I'm just dragging it through and deleting the bit I don't want. Then I can touch that, make that 600, make that one there 800, and now I've got my once I've delete, once I've dimensioned it, I can then delete that wall from that wall, and that remains at 600, and that remains at 800. All right, a couple of tricks with construction lines. Another trick with uh, construction lines is basically I might want to um, break a wall. Now, if I highlight an external wall, say, and right-click. 
with the right click that gives you a menu and that menu is what's relating to that element so if you touch a wall and do a right click whatever's on that is all you can do with the wall if you put a door in and touch the door and do a right click whatever is on that menu is all you can do with the door so don't expect to be able to do something that's not on the list because it isn't available so with this particular wall I've got a break option now that's fine I can come and break it but how do I break it precisely so if I want to break it say tw uh, 1200 from the outside wall and then say 3 meter panel because I want to replace a small section of that wall with another hardy um, you know a linear board uh, panel of wall I can break it but there's no way of, of acting uh, precisely for those dimensions so again what I do is I use my zero width construction line if I draw a line a wall up there and repeat it down here and finish I can grab that go to the corner dimension I wanted that 1200 off the corner grab this one and I wanted that three meters that gives me the panel and what my construction lines have done is dement is positioned it exactly where I want the panel of wall and broken it so now I can go and use the right click and go replace and go and grab an external wall linear board 70 mil thank you very much there it is then go and delete that when you're finished and I've got a a wall that's been broken and replaced in the middle with a, a different type of cladding all right that's all for the moment on uh, the construction lines we I will talk more about those in later exercises for for different purposes thank you